Unit 6, Lesson 4. Practicing solving equations and representing situations with equations. Number 1. Select all the equations that describe each situation and then find the solution. A. Karen's backpack weighs 3 pounds less than Claire's backpack. Claire's backpack weighs 14 pounds. How much does Karen's backpack weigh? I chose 1, x plus 3 equals 14, and 3, x equals 14 minus 3. x equals 11 pounds. Karen's backpack weighs 11 pounds. B. Each notebook contains 60 sheets of paper. Andre has 5 notebooks. How many sheets of paper do Andre's notebooks contain? I selected 2, y equals 5 times 60, and 3, y over 5 equals 60, or y divided by 5 equals 60. Andre's notebooks contain 300 pages total. Number 2. Solve each equation. A. 2x equals 5. I built the chart. On the left hand side I have the number of x's and on the right hand side I have the number of units. 2x equals 5 units. In order to get 1x I divided the 2x by 2 and I got 1x. Then I had to divide the 5 by 2 and I got 5 over 2 or 2 and a half. x equals 2 and a half. B. Y plus 1 and 8 tenths equals 14 and 7 tenths. And I got 12 and 9 tenths. Y equals 12 and 9 tenths. C. 6 equals 1 half Z. On the right hand side, I have the number of Z's. On the left hand side, I have the number of units. 6 units equals 1 half Z. In order to make one full z, I had to multiply that one half by two. One half times two equals one. I also needed to multiply the six units by two. And six times two equals twelve. Since six units equals one half z, twelve units equals one z. Z equals twelve. D. Three and one fourth equals one half plus w. I set this one up like the hanger that we practiced in the previous lesson. Well, if I want to find out the value for W, I have to get rid of the one half. So I take away one half from the W side, and then I take away one half from the three and one fourth side to make sure that they still balance. So now at the very bottom, I have a W all by itself and a two and three fourths because three and one fourth minus one half equals two and three fourths. The value for W is 2 and 3 fourths. E. 2 and 5 tenths times T equals 10. I put the units on the right hand side and the number of T's on the left hand side. So 2 and 5 tenths T's equals 10 units. In order to find out how much 1 T is worth, I have to divide 2 and 5 tenths by 2 and 5 tenths, and that gives me 1. So I have one T on the left-hand column. Since I divided this column by two and five tenths, I need to divide the 10 in the other column by two and five tenths. 10 divided by two and five tenths is the same as 100 divided by 25, like we learned in one of the previous lessons. 100 divided by 25 is four. So when there's one T, it's worth four units. T equals four. Number three, for each equation, draw a tape diagram that represents the equation. A, 3x equals 18, or three times x equals 18. I drew my tape diagram and I divided it up into three groups. It totals 18. You don't have to put the six on the inside of each one of the groups, but I did because I know that three times six equals 18. B, 3 plus x equals 18. And you can see in my tape diagram that I have three small sections and one larger section to represent x. So those three small sections plus the larger x section equals 18. One way to figure out the value for x is 18 minus 3. And 18 minus 3 is 15. 
so we know that that larger section, x, is worth 15. C. 17 minus 6 equals x. So I have a large value for x, and then I have six pieces on the end. All of them combined total 17, but if you take away the six pieces on the right, then it equals x. So 17 minus 6 equals x. Number four, find each product. A, 21 and 2 tenths times 2 hundredths. So you can set it up as a multiplication problem like I did in this first example on the top, or what I find more interesting is multiply them as fractions. So 21 and 2 tenths is the same thing as 212 tenths times 2 hundredths. I have this set up on the bottom left hand corner. 212 tenths times 2 hundredths equals 424 thousandths, or as a decimal, 424 thousandths, 0 0.424. B, 2 and 5 hundredths times 4 thousandths. Again, you can set it up as a multiplication problem like I did on the top and the right hand side, or you can set it up as multiplying fractions like I did on the bottom. 2 and 5 hundredths is the same as 200 5 hundredths. 4 thousandths is 4 over 1,000. So 200 5 hundredths times 4 thousandths equals 820 hundred thousandths, or 0 0.00820. But you don't need that zero on the right hand side, so you can write it as 82 ten thousandths. Number five, for a science experiment, students need to find 25% of 60 grams. Jada says, I can find this by calculating one fourth of 60. Andre says, 25% of 60 means 25 over 100 times 60. Lynn says, both of their methods work. Do you agree with Lynn? Explain your reasoning. Yes, I agree with Lynn because 25% is the same as one fourth of 100%. In this situation, 100% of the grams is 60 grams, and 1 fourth of 60 is 15. 25% of 60 is also 15. Another way to look at it is at the very bottom in red. 25% equals 25 hundredths, or 25 over 100, which can be rewritten as 1 fourth. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 6, Lesson 4. Practice solving equations and representing situations with equations. Music